Okay, we're back in Assetto Corsa again, and uh, I really, really enjoyed Fat Alfie's track of Battenberg Ring last night so much that I wanted to jump right in and try the second track that was recommended by Host IDs by Fat Alfie. Um, this is Fontany. Um, this is a... I guess it would call it a pseudo-fictional track, and pseudo-fictional because it's actually it's based on real roads in the French countryside. But I guess uh, there's a story behind all of this that is quite interesting. And so rather than tell it up front, I'm going to get moving and try to tell it while I'm in motion. I'm again in the uh, lovely uh, 356A Sportster, 1957 356 Sportster. And uh, I'm going to get a look at that car um, there. Figured it was good with the scenery. Works really well. So I'm sticking with it. So let's go. Okay, so... The story of this track is kind of interesting. So, Fed Alfie, I guess, uh, loves racing. As you would kind of have to, to be this good at something uh, related to Assetto Corsa. And he likes to drive. Um, he's a big fan of the Nürburgring, I guess. And uh, so he set out to develop a track that kind of captured his love and enthusiasm for, for Nürburgring in something that was new that he could drive. And so it started off as a project that he kept private to himself. Um, had no scenery, was just the road. Um, and he drove it that way for, I guess, uh, about 18 months, if I read correctly. And uh, he shared it with a few friends. And uh, the way it actually came about is he started looking at maps in uh, France to find a nice circuit loop. And uh, found one that was about 25.8 kilometers long that seemed suitable. And uh, the people he shared it with, his friends, liked it, gave him a lot of feedback, begged him to complete it. So he spent another uh, six months or so, I guess, um, putting in the trees, putting in the scenery, putting in the cars, um, doing all of the uh, graphical work to complete the look that you see in front of you here and uh, then released it. Um, showed up on um, online in 2019, was last updated in 2020, and I have seen activity um, as recently as uh, the early part of this year um, on, uh, on Overtake. Talking about the track and giving people tips and stuff. One of the things that is uh, really cool, and I've seen this before with some other tracks, but not in a while, and mostly because I haven't looked. I forgot that people did this. But Alfie included a comprehensive, comprehensive uh, track guide in a PDF in the root of the track folder. And... Uh, He even has a little bit of a backstory for the track that uh, its origins being in the 20s. And uh, if you look around at the scenery here, this is very much set in the 50s. At least it feels like a 50s. Might be, might be early 60s. And all I can tell you um, is that I cannot do this track justice. I'm not a good enough driver. This is an amazing amazing track. I did a reconnaissance lap a little bit earlier, and oh my god, there are things that are definitely uh, reminiscent of Nürburgring. You can definitely tell the influences there in terms of just sort of uh, some of the track uh, pieces, and that could be just the history of the roads. I There's a drop in here that reminds me of the corkscrew at Laguna Seca <laughs> that uh, I'll call out when we get to it. It's uh, quite a ways down the road. I don't know if you've seen, but on the side of the road, 
there are signs giving us kilometer marks. Um, obviously, we've got the turn markers telling us when the turns are coming, but there's a seven kilometer mark. So all through, it's marked out how far on the, the route you are. This is just an incredible piece of art. I mean, that's really what it is. It's not, it's not just a track and not just fun. This is art and just an amazing form for a motor enthusiast. Getting back to uh, some of the conversations that I have had uh, with some of my other videos is that this really demonstrates best example I can I can think of at this point um, modders that really deserve support for what they do um, because this is this is just incredible he even uh, commented Alfie uh, and talking about uh, this track and why he actually intended well originally did, never intended to release this as an actual track because he had already done two tracks Ooh, missed my shift there um, had already done two tracks one was a I think a 10 kilometer track one a 12 kilometer track and he knew what work went into building a good track and you know at one that's you know almost 26 kilometers long that's a pretty intense undertaking but you can see he not only did it he did it incredibly well Like I said, I only wish I was a better driver. <laughs> this little 356 really wants to be here. By the way, back there, that uh, was the uh, speedometer pegged at 120. It's a high-speed track in a lot of spots. There are some nice tight sections a little bit later here that are a little scary, if I'm honest. I'm so sorry. A little bit of carousel action reminiscent of the Nürburgring.
but this is just an amazing track. One of the, the really cool things about uh, the Overtake website, guys that have been doing this for a long time already know this, but you can reach out and uh, thank an author or a content creator for their work. And in many cases, there's a link to hit their PayPal or uh, do a donation of some sort through whatever mechanism that they they want to support. This is some of that tight section I was talking about earlier. to race me on this thing, huh? Corkscrew. Well, park bench, if we want to have a seat. I just completely bottled that up, but tell me that that's not like a opposite uh, right-handed corkscrew like Laguna Seca. Maybe not quite as dramatic, but it's pretty cred incredible. I lost track of where it was because I've only driven one lap before this one on this track. Another carousel, right-handed this time. So he did all this from scratch. Bad Alfie did. The way it's described, he did it all from scratch using maps. Another carousel. That's a lap. I don't know, man. That's nuts. That's high art. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.
And if you did, like, subscribe, or at the very least, check out Fat Alfie's uh, content. Thanks for joining. See you next time. Spaß machen Rennsport.